Hey, hey, wandering creatives. Today's video is all about calligraphy. I'm sharing my simple and surprisingly relaxing five minute daily practice routine that is helping me build my own calligraphy and hand lettering skills, and maybe it'll help you too. So here is an example practice sheet. I like to make everything pretty, so I'll often add background color using markers or watercolors, but you can certainly just use plain white paper for this. Now you can see that there are four basic skills that I practice each day, upstrokes, downstrokes, turns, and loops and ovals. And there's also space down here for a practice word or phrase that's a little more fun. Start to finish, all of this takes about five minutes. Easy peasy. So let's get started. First, the upstrokes. Now, if you're not familiar with lettering basics, upstrokes are thin, so you use light pressure, while downstrokes are thicker, you use heavier pressure. You can also see I'm keeping everything on a slight diagonal here since I'm practicing a script lettering style. Now, if you've seen my calligraphy shorts, wait, you haven't? Check them out up here. You may not realize that those are always sped up. Calligraphy is S-L-O-W, slow. So in this video, I'm keeping everything in real time so you get a feel for an actual practice speed. Next, we have the turns. Here, I'm practicing both upturns and downturns. And you can see I goofed up on this one. I made my downstroke light and my upstroke heavy. Whoops. <laughs> that is why we practice. So while we're here, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to pop that like button and of course subscribe for more creative inspiration each week. It's so much more fun to wander this creative world together. Next, it's time for loops and ovals. And while these can be the most fun, I also find them the most challenging to get right. I am getting a little better every day, so here's to practice. And a tip for the ovals, it is helpful if you start kind of in the upper right corner rather than somewhere else like on the top or the bottom. That just makes it easier to connect those two thin strokes together. And now it's time for the fun part. Each morning I sketch out a word or saying in light pencil that I can then use as a guide when I go in to practice forming letters and connecting them smoothly. Today it's progress, not perfection. How's that for on theme? Now, did I mention calligraphy was slow? This practice word or phrase often takes over half of the practice time, depending on how complicated it is, simply because it's really about slowing down and thinking about every stroke or even partial stroke so that we're really applying those practice strokes. And it is really helpful here to have some lines. You can see I'm using some marker lines, but you can also use lined paper or create a few lines with a ruler and a pencil, just so you have a guide. And you can see I kind of squeeze those S's together. So that's something that I'd notice and say, all right, next time I make S's, I will work a little bit on giving them more space to breathe.
And as you practice, try to take some time to really notice how the individual strokes that we just practiced fit with the letters. So you can see from the R to the F transition, that's an understroke, right? Or the P, that's a partial oval. The F, that's a loop. Noticing that and really applying those strokes is how we make that progress. And there you have it. Definitely far from perfect, but certainly leaps and bounds better than when I first started practicing. If you decide to try this practice, let me know how it goes in the comments. Happy creating everybody.